Okay, so I'm really excited to show you the new OneNote lesson planner for teachers. Um, so I'm in my Office 365 um, dashboard, and here's where OneNote is. So I'm going to click on my OneNote, so I'm going to show you what the new planner looks like. <clears throat> so here is the lesson plan book. So I'm going to open it up. This is what it's going to look like if you're looking at it on the web. So on your um, web browser, it's going to look like this. But I want to open it up so that you can see the whole thing. So I'm going to open up in my app. Open an app. I want to resume. Okay, so now here it is down here. So here is the new planner. So it does look like a planner this year. Um, I know I've taken lots of people's suggestions in regards to how last time I just did it where it was like a photo background and then you had to insert your own text boxes. And I had lots of feedback in regards to that they wished that the text box and where you could type and put your information was already integrated into the planner. So I have done that this year. So if you go up here to the top, here's all of your months. So you'll download this and when you download the planner, all of this is already going to be set up for you this year. You're not going to have to uh, copy and paste and make your own planner. It is done for you. So on the very first school information, you have your cover. You can change your cover if you want, and I'll show you how you can do that kind of stuff here in just a minute. It has the school information and see how you can just click here and put all of your information in. Your year at, the, at a glance is the same thing. So if I go at a glance, you can put whatever you're going to be working on for your themes or whatever your main subjects are going to be. <clears throat> and I can, um, you can, I'll show you here, there's stickers already integrated into the planner for you to be able to easily add stickers and stuff to your page templates. It has holidays to remember. Um, you can type in the, the holiday dates right in the squares. Here I have preschool expectations, but if you go to the templates, it also has just regular uh, classroom expectations if you're not a preschool classroom. And then it has the routines there again this is preschool routines checklist but if you go to the templates and there again i'll show you how you can add to the sections here in just a minute so and then each month has its own calendar and you can click into the calendar and add whatever you need in the calendar so before this was it's still a picture background but i've integrated into it where the calendar is already made you can already click into each of the squares and type whatever you might need to type you can add stickers to it there again here's the stickers I'll show you real quick how you can add stickers to it you have here let's just start with the fun stickers I want to you can just uh, right click you can copy you can go to your July page or wherever you want it and you can paste it in or you can go up here to home home and paste and then you can put this wherever you want to put it you can resize it you can type around it whatever you would like to do so the stickers are already included in the planner so if you want to add pages so it goes all the way through it starts with 20 like if you're starting it right now in march which march is almost over tomorrow is the last day this one starts with 21 but if you go to april you have april 2020 and then here is 2021 and if you don't want that in there you can just right click it and you can delete it um, that's same with may and june and then it will start with july for this year here are all the templates that you have in there. So you have your your weekly template for your lesson plans, and you can you can either have your days going down, or you can have your days going across. You have your centers, 
you have I do block scheduling during my prep time and I write down list here of everything that I would want to do these are my times but you can change these to anything that you want those to be um, there again here's the routine checklist again birthdays if you want to add your kids birthdays in here password keeper behavior tracker um, your behavior support, once you've kind of tracked the behavior, what are you going to do to support that behavior and teach a new behavior that you want to see? Your communication log with your families, um, your lesson plan checklist, you know me, I'm big with the lesson plan there again. You can change any of these. If you don't want these ones in here, you can change them in here. So everything can be edited in here this year. You can add to these sections of things that you might want to include. Um, your weekly plan ideas. I have two different versions of this that you can do uh, with your big ideas are your objectives, which is just like what is in the handwritten lesson planner that I have. Your get it done. There again, there's two different ones. This one's just a picture and you have to click wherever you want to write or draw. And then the second one already has the boxes already in place for you. Uh, your teacher meeting notes. Uh, your read aloud planner, your if you have to do art plans, if you like to do the web planning, there's web planning. These are all stickers so you can change these around if you don't want that subtitle you can put something else in for yourself. There's another web plan, your computer schedules if you need to set up a schedule for your students on who gets to use the computer on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. Um, keeping track of things that you need to have done from whether it's parents there they need to turn something in you can type their names here and then you can just check off as they've completed things uh, you have a field trip planner so there's your field trip tent planner you have your covers in here that you can switch out your cover that you want for it then here here are all the months that you can put it if you don't want it in the order that I've done. Your preschool expectations are here again, your classroom expectations, classroom routines. So what you can do is let's say for me, I'm going to be doing a summer school. So if I click on July and I want to add my lesson plans here in my July, then I go to my templates and I add whatever I want. So I'm going to be using up here, let's see, week one. I'm going to be using this format. So what I do is I'm going to right click it. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to move or copy. And then it's going to ask me, where do I want to copy it? So here's all of my sections. So I'm going to copy it to July and I'm going to put a copy there. So now when I go to July, it has my week plan here. I can change this up here so that it will show the date that I want to have my plans for. So this plan, let's say, is going to go from June 29th through Friday the 3rd. So I can put here um, 6-29 through to 7-3. So I can add the times here. So here I can keep track of what I want. If I want to add another one here, then there again, you just go to your templates. And let's say I want to add my centers there because I want to change out my centers. I'm going to right click. I'm going to move and copy that. I'm going to put it into July and I'm going to copy that. So I'm not deleting it or anything. All of your templates are here and you can copy and paste it as many times as you want to a section, which is really, really nice. And then the stickers are all here too. So you have just fun stickers that I just, you know, you just copy and paste wherever you want them. You have subject stickers where these are ones that I've created that you can use on the webs or wherever you want to use them. Um, your calendar stickers that are for due date stuff, your teacher meeting stickers, your theme stickers that you can use for your calendars or at a glance or whatever you might be doing, um, stickers that you can plan out the letters and numbers that you're going to be working on, and then here if you want to purchase more stickers, I have included some just links for that. <clears throat> um, let's see what else did I want to show you. 
I think that pretty much sums up everything that you now get in here. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. So let's go to July. So let's say you don't want morning meeting here. You can edit all of this stuff now. So before you had to kind of create your own little text boxes, you don't have to. If you don't want it to be morning meeting, all of these you can edit to whatever you want your subject headers to be. It's, it's universal. So, and that goes with lots of the different templates that I've included in here, that same here. You can change all of this stuff if you want your learning centers to be different. Um, even with the routine checklist, this is just what I'm doing. If you want to add to it or take away, or you want to copy this section and add some more um, routines to it, you can. So everything can be edited to meet your needs. So that's how you can use the OneNote in your computer. So on the next video, I will show you if you're interested to see how you can use it on your iPad. So thank you. I hope you guys enjoy these changes that we have made. Um, if you have any questions or have some comments of things that you might like to see in it, please leave me a comment below.